Are you still repenting? Jesus sums up his ministry. What's the, what's the central truth he's got to pass on? Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And what often happens in the Christian life is, is we come to know Christ and we repent, and in those early days, there's this big getting rid of the big ones. Quit sleeping around. Quit cussing. Quit doing drugs. But then often what happens is we begin to tolerate what Jerry Bridges calls respectable sins. Oh, we'd never sleep around. We're not looking at porn anymore. But discontent, anxiety, slander, gossip, unbelief, all of bitterness, all of these things that, that, that do exactly what Romans 3 says sin does. They ruin and misery follows your path. Think about you. Every time you give in to anxiety, what happens? Are people built up? Are they strengthened? Or does ruin and misery come into your marriage, your parenting, your friendships? What happens when you are controlled by grumbling, discontent, anxiety, bitterness, gossip, slander, outbursts of anger, which brings sword thrusts, say the Proverbs, into people's soul. What happens? Well, nothing scandalous happens. You don't make the news. You don't usually get disciplined by the church, but ruin and misery, ruin and misery come into the lives of those around you when you tolerate the smallest of sins, because there are no small sins. Because anything that is not following God, is following the devil. And anything that doesn't follow God's way of life is following paths that bring death and ruin and destruction to those around us. And so there's this incredible offer to you, Emmanuel, to me. You can repent. There's still a day of salvation. We don't have to go on like that. The last thing we want to do in our Christian lives is getting used to sinning, to just get used to the idea that, oh, no one ever gets that much victory. You can't ever really overcome that much. No, Jesus is impressing this upon us as a people. Repent. You can turn. His Holy Spirit will help you. Your mind can be transformed by confession and and repentance. You can be changed if we confess our sins. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let's never be a church that has most of its repentance in the past, but to be a people who are continually repenting so that we do not bring ruin and misery into our present or, worst of all, Forsake the grace of God by, forsake, by not forsaking our sins.